Welcome to Rust. Today, I got something special for you guys. We're playing once again with Spoon Kid. You guys know how the duos go. Me and him, we like to do a little bit of a challenge every time we play this game. And this time around, we got something brand spanking new for you guys. I'm super excited about this challenge and I can't wait to get right into it. But before we do, I suppose I will give you guys a quick rundown. Basically, this, this wipe, we're playing like moles. We're basically only going to play in the tunnel system. And how we're going to judge that is at each one of these tunnel exits is a grid that it is located in. And as you can see right here at power plant, as long as the train tunnel icon is in the grid, we can use that grid to our advantage. So here at Harbor, we'd, ha we'd have access to all of this. Here at Satellite Dish, we'd have access to all of that. We'd have a little bit of Junkyard and also AD26 because the icon is slightly in that grid. This way we can build a base and store loot during this challenge and we don't really have to worry about running out of space and you know, and we also don't have to worry about breaking the bounds of the challenge too much because we have this whole new rule added on. So I think it's going to be really fun. I'm excited to see how it all plays out because We'll be able to farm in certain locations and only be able to get sulfur every once in a while in like a snow biome. So I, I think it's going to be really fun. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, Spoon, I'm in. Okay. Yeah, so I was thinking we could do the same thing like we did with the launch site challenge where we can only grab cloth and then we just make our way to the to the entrance and just get right into the challenge. Because we need, well, we need something in order to like... Like, do you just want to send it with just oh, rocks yeah. initially, or how are we going to do it? That's right, dude. It's a little dangerous down there. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. How, how are we going to do this? I mean, we could get, like, the bare minimum, which I would say is just, like, a bow. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And which one do you want to meet it? Um, I'm over at the junkyard one right now. It is so laggy. There's a base there with 31 shops. Yeah, and I see the turbines. You're not down here, are you? Because I might, no, I might want to just respawn. Yeah, this is this is not I'm okay. I'm on the bottom left. We could go to the harbor one on the bottom left. Yeah, I kind of spawned here. I'll make my way down there. All right, perfect. Just like our last challenge where Spoon Kid and I survived in launch sites, we couldn't actually begin the challenge without some basic resources first. Because the tunnels had some unavoidable AI, we had to bring at minimum a bow with arrows. So on our way to our rendezvous point, we gathered a small amount of supplies. Once we were together in a grid with the tunnel entrance within it, the challenge officially started. Is this you right here? Is this you? Yeah. Hey man. I guess I'll create the team. I don't think we can put a bag here, dude. No, we can't. All right. Well, we're going to have to make another stop then and hopefully place a bag over there. Uh, well, how are we going to survive? What do you mean? I don't know. I'm hoping that we find like a tarp or something in this grid. <gasps> Wait, that guy's chopping up a thing. We need, we need to kill him. I got a mace. All right. I got 80. He's got a paddle. So I mean, I've got 80 cloth. If you got stone and wood, we can just make two bows. Oh, here. This thing's actually not bad for gathering, so I'm gonna use this instead. If you get 20 more cloth, I can make another one. Here you go. <laughs> There's just a random wolf here. That's perfect. Uh, do you want, uh, like, leather for, for clothing? Yeah, if you got extra. Yeah, here. So yeah, uh, just be mindful of the grid and make sure that we're farming barrels within the grid of the thing. Oh, so we're fully committed right now. Oh yeah, we're grid. fully committed right now. Okay, Look, we okay. got ourselves a crude barrel here. We're vibing, man. We got this, bro. This is too easy. I think this challenge is going to be fun. I think it is too. I'm, I'm excited to like to really get into it. Yeah. I got a tarp. This crate is good. I'm gonna recycle rope because we're gonna get so much when we're down there, so. Yeah, just recycle everything. Oh, look what's in here, Spoon. Oh shit, I didn't know a, a military could spawn there. Come on, supply signal. <laughs> yeah. There's a naked running up. It was pretty much useless. Oh man. Wait, did he just, oh. Oh, he's cheating, he's cheating. 
He's cheating. He's like flying. Wow, good story. He just flew over to you! Oh my god, dude, he's flying above me. Oh he's my dead. god! What well, that's fuck, not a good way dude? to start off the server. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna report this guy right away. Wait, someone's coming out of the train tunnel right now. They sound geared. Oh no. He might come recycle. Oh, we're dead. I, I, if he's not coming to the recycler, I'd just hide. Yeah, I don't think they are. They aren't. I mean, that's a good sign. What though. kind of gear is it? Yeah, it is a good sign. Hat Wait, that means it's probably cleared down there. Oh, true. I mean, actually, I'm down to go down there with, if uh, things are cleared out because then we can just go straight to a uh, somewhere where we can place a bag. Don't have to worry about going out of bounds every time we respawn. True. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Our best bet is probably that lighthouse one. Yeah. We needed to get to another train station exit that had enough grid to place bags and build a base. This one with lighthouse nearby seemed like the perfect place to live. It looked like it had the grid space and it also had a recycler. But because we already started the challenge, we had to take the train system to get there. We had limited resources, but we had to work with what we had. Yeah, the boys here. Nah, no, we're good. Sweet. I don't know. We're gonna have to pass through a lot of stations, dude. Have you looked at the route? Oh God. We're gonna get absolutely beamed. Okay, actually, I'm not gonna just go straight in. Why is it still going? It's supposed to stop when you jump out. I don't, I've never heard of that. I thought it just, it's goodbye. <laughs> it's gone. Dude, Dude it, that, that's how it used to be. Okay, that was my last arrow. Oh, wow, dude, these oh. are two really good trades for what we uh, are dealing oh, with. Oh, yeah, you want to take half of those? I don't know why we don't have a train. Uh, should have, we should have one right now. <laughs> so good, I think there's one right here. Do you want to just go straight for Lighthouse? Because I'm like starving, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go through everything. Ouch! What? What? I'm sorry. I thought you were still <laughs> on it. I, I hear footsteps. I'm like, where is that? We're <laughs> throwing the tone away, man. I'm sorry. I can't believe it. Oh, no, this. you're gonna starve. I gotta them. use the syringe. Yo, you have right. a syringe? I don't know if we have enough fuel to like get there and jump out midway through. I hope it doesn't run out. We're oh, at dude, one fuel. Oh god. I guess just send it, but if it stops in the middle, I'm dead. Oh no. Oh you're no. Alright, just run. I'm running back here, dude. Me and Spoon Kid were both really low HP and starving. If we died here, we'd have to run all the way back from spawn. A bow and five arrows. Oh my god, the ex exit is right here, Spoon. All right, I'm gonna Ouch! harvest these. No! Go. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I would health you at five. Okay, I'm at six. You can have this one. All right, I'm gonna be at ten health. Dude, we, we can't. Can make we can't get across. We can't. He's like right here, waiting for us. We can bone arrow his hand. Oh no, I'm down. Got him. Um, make a run for it. Med. Yeah, Hold med on. would be huge. He had one bandage. <sighs> here, I'm at seven. I think we can make it up to White House. <laughs> but there's another one on this platform, I think. Okay, we, I think we got it. Let's go. Oh. Oh no. Uh, you have to go on without me, it's okay. You're up in three seconds. Leave the bow. Just sprint. Three, two, bow. one. Run! Right, oh my the god! Bow. I have an extra bow. Just it's go. okay. Here. We gotta go, dude. I'm a four starving. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it, man. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. We just gotta get bags down, man. That's all we gotta do.
What's your health now? Uh, two. We gotta make something happen, dude. I'm gonna. I gotta make a go, run go, for go, it. Go, 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 go. We need a hemp seed or a can of beans or something. Oh, food crate. No way. Here we go. Do you want to eat some? Yeah, yeah. A can of beans saved my life. Nice. Holy shit, I can't believe we survived that, dude. Oh, what about that little 2 by one with the TC? Uh, it's locked. Let's just place a I'm bag. I'm just gonna place it here, yeah. Oh my god, it's so clutch. There's a there's a, a stash here, too. I'm throwing some stuff in it. Fuck it. It was a close call, but we got some bags down within a grid the tunnel entrance was part of. Now that we didn't have to worry about breaking the bounds if we died, we headed to the lighthouse to recycle what we had from the tunnel so far. That was about as close as it can get. Yeah, holy shit. Oh, dude, he's online. He's oh, gonna be man. pissed. Oi, man. Get chugging, dude. We're just taking some of your water. Um, okay, do you want to recycle? Yeah. What is that? Right next to Lighthouse. I didn't know you could build that close. That's insane. Yeah, that is really close. It's so easy to wall in this monument. Is there a turret up there? No, no there's just a spotlight. Spotlight. He's in there. I think. I, I could have sworn I heard somebody. Another food crate? There's a fucking table. A table in the food <laughs> There's a crate? table. Oh. This guy just came out of his little weird base. He's climbing up the nets right now. Might be friendly. Yeah. I mean, if we kill him, we could loot him, but... Looks like he's just wiring stuff. I really do think he might be friendly. Like, it says farm tours on the side of his thing. If we can talk to him. We decided to try and greet ourselves to this mystery man in a friendly manner. Hey! Hey! Are you friendly? Hey, you! Are you friendly? Yeah, welcome to Lighthouse Farms, friends. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing just great. That's How are you? Good. Well, you guys are welcome here at Lighthouse Farms anytime. Enjoy your stay. Have free food, pumpkins, corn, potatoes. If you guys want to come down, I'll give you some free food. I help all the people that come through here. I'm a very. Can we get some free pumpkins if we come down? Yeah, come down to the shop and I'll give you each five pumpkins. Oh my goodness! Oh my god, thank you. Oh loady load. Watch it just be a bait. Oh like god, just attracting I in all the kitties and then he just fucking murders them. Welcome to Lighthouse Farms. So is this like a hotel or? Uh, it's just a farm. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it. Oh yeah, we're about to get a history lecture. Uh, hello friends, welcome to Lighthouse Farms. Can you guys come to the storefront please? This is so role player. I love it. Oh, hello distant travelers. Glad you guys could come all this way to join us today. Today we have pumpkins and fresh fish. So here, enjoy. Fresh fish. Why isn't my keyboard working? Oh, you're floating for me, dude. I think you're about to DC. The fuck? I've been working on it for a couple of days now. Um, so I first started out with two purifiers. So I have two purifiers in the first pump room. I got six, uh, four pumps pumping to those two purifiers and those two purifiers are then pumping. You just went to sleep. Are you serious? I'm about to get a history lecture of Lighthouse Farms and I DC? I'm trying to talk to you, but he has he has not stopped talking about the farms. <laughs> um, I got four spotlights hooked up. I got all the wiring connected, the electrical part. Now I'm going to do the plumbing. I have to connect all the purifiers, pumps, and um, run all the lines. Dude, but, uh, I yeah. disconnected, yeah, reconnected, guys, and he's guys, still talking. <laughs> But you're welcome back anytime. If you guys need any food, you're always welcome here. I'll give you food no matter what. Or anything else you guys need of that matter. Thank so. you very much, Penske file. You're welcome, friends. You guys be safe out there. That was the warmest welcome I've ever had in Rose. That was truly uh <laughs> That was an experience. <laughs> Wait, we should take uh I got a TC off this guy. Oh he's a building player. We could put up a little base. Let's do it hundred percent. I also got a metal hatchet. Oh sweet. At least we know where to go for food. It's yeah. pretty nice. It's a good resource to have. Too bad I just randomly disconnected. This challenge just got interesting. Within the two grids we'd be most active in, we found an ally. His name was Penske. And just like you learned through his little history lesson, he owned and operated Lighthouse Farms. 
He gave us a really good vibe, so we were happy to build close by. Hopefully, we can become good friends. Is that part of the challenge? Taking uh, massive amounts of food for a lighthouse I mean, forest? yeah, he's in the bounds. I don't see why not. There's also this guy we yoinked water from. He's active. We got plenty of content just in these two grids. Yeah. Uh, I can jackhammer out this tool cupboard. I wonder if there's anything in it. Worth it. All right, you want us to put up like a... Right here, dude. Let's two do by it. two. Yeah. Okay, I have 700 stone. Should we save it all for arrows or should I use it for the foundations? No, I'll save it for now. Already at 400 scrap. This wipe is going to be interesting with the whole, um, with having to worry about, uh, Okay, I completely lost what I was thinking. <laughs> oh yeah, this wipe's gonna be interesting that we don't have BPs like we usually do with all of our runs. Oh, right. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. We're gonna have to really tech tree most things, I think. So yeah, I say that like next goal is to like get a uh, a gun so that we can take tunnels easier. And then uh -huh. we can go, and then once we get a gun, we can like explore all of the grids and stuff. What do you want to do for that? Like tier one revolver or something, or like yeah, maybe this might be what we have to do. Unlike our other challenges, neither Spoon Kid or I had blueprints. We wanted guns so we could protect ourselves and clear out the tunnels better. So we knew the fastest way to get guns was to utilize the tech tree. It would cost us a lot of scrap to do this, but luckily we wouldn't have any shortage of that during this run. Here, stack these components. Once when Spoon Kid had an inventory of components, we headed back to the surface to recycle. Holy cow. Well, I hear someone coming with the uh, boots, I think. Or like, hide boots. Yeah, there's two of them. Where at? Two bow guys coming up the staircase. Headshot one, he's dead. Other one is by like the initial staircase. Like one shot. Nice headshot dead. Nice. Metal pick. Has like no poison. There's a crossbow guy on top of the a one by one over there. Oh my god, I just got hit. Yeah, I know, it's the crossbow guy. He's dead. Oh no! Our friend! He's the one shooting the python, I think. We're just gonna get home. I have 750 strip. Don't make me do it, Penske. I murdered Penske, and I wasn't proud of it. A bit of miscommunication on our parts, but we really needed the python. After placing a tier 2, we didn't have quite enough scrap to get us to a SAR and rifle ammo. So, with the python and a P2 I crafted for Spoon, we headed back in. I got a full inventory, I can't loot this. Yeah, we definitely need a depot. I got 200 scrap just from looting things, dude. All right, I'm gonna put all the components up there. Holy crap. Spoon Kid, I have bad news. What's that? You built this two by two right on the edge of the build block. Like, oh, we no. can't even Can do a honeycomb? honeycomb, no. Damn. Train tunnels is so OP, dude. It's just insane how much comps you can get. I'd really like to get to SAR. Yes, I think you can. I did it. You got the SAR? Yep. 300 scrap yeah. to spare. I mean, you can just go. I'm gonna go SAR 100% here. I finally managed to tech tree SAR, and after crafting one, we headed back into the tunnels. But this one didn't go as smoothly.
Do you need pants? Yeah, I do. Oh, train coming. One dead, one dead. There's two more, I think. Two more. I'm dead. Oh, shit. I'm down if you can help me up. Hold on. Oh, my God. He's a genius. I'm still alive, just low. I'm dead, man. What is this lag? One of them went up into the fucking... Into the side, dude. And I started getting sprayed from someone I couldn't see. I'm done to head back down there. You want to you wanna grab a uh, crossbow for your secondary? I'm going to get you some ammo. Turn off the light, by the way. Press F. They're behind us! Want to stop? Yeah, yeah. I'm dead. One's on ground. Get headshot him. I'm dead, dude. Fuck. How are they on the whole different track? We died twice, losing a total of four gear sets. This gave us a reality check. In case you haven't noticed, we weren't exactly doing so hot in the resource department. Our base was still wood because there was no stone nodes in our grid. We also couldn't make any ammo because we had no sulfur to make gunpowder. We couldn't risk running into the tunnels again on a losing streak. So to try to make up for it, we hunkered down back at base to check out our neighbor next door. Let's check out this first. What do we got here? Oh, this is a real rock. Yep, there you go. Here, come here. <laughs> I have it, dude. It's just a wood roof. Yeah, but can you, like, see down, see if you can see anything in there? Yeah, there's a bed on this square. Another bed. They have an armored roof in there. And uh, a bunch of large boxes under this one. Really? Yeah, it's just a wood roof. It might be worth... We have flamethrower. We just need low grade! When I tech treed down to SAR, I researched flamethrower in the process. We could craft one, but like I said, resource-wise, we had zero low grade. That was, until we made a discovery over at Penske's farm. Oh my god. I'm so Look. lucky there's no ammo in that shotgun trap. There's a refinery in here, dude. I just don't know if we can get to it. I don't know if this shoddy trap is active. It isn't. Dude. Come over here. Oh, shit. Let's go, That's dude. Huge. I'm sure he wouldn't mind us using it to turn our crude oil into low-grade fuel. Once when that was all refined, I crafted a flamethrower, and we got to raiding our neighbor. Boom. Where are the boxes? This one? Yeah. It looks like it's all open on this floor. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm going to hit right here. Damn. <laughs> that was a hundred low grade, right? Yep. Flame rating is so shit in this game, dude. Hello, man. But before you kill, man, you have very good aim. Alright. Oh, stone! So Damn, much! dude. So Damn. much! It's yes! Good. That's like... Wait. Why didn't they upgrade the base? <laughs> they have that all this stone and they don't upgrade the base. Dude, we can make like a main base now. Yeah, holy shit. There's a wood ceiling here too, dude. We can raid this for cheap. <laughs> that was exactly what we were looking for. What the hell? Yeah, that's crazy. Well, we better stone up the base then. Spoon, come to me. <laughs> Spoon, come to me. I'm coming. What? No shot. It's the king right now. Oh, shit. I know, right? 
It's a gun in that a one. Tommy? Yeah. 300 sulfur, 500 metal? Yeah. That's actually huge. We are getting pretty lucky. Yeah, all of a sudden. The stuff we got from that flame raid and decayed base may have not seemed like a lot, but you have to understand that being confined to only a couple of grids of playable area gets us no resourceful way of farming nodes. 300 sulfur there and 500 metal there made all the difference. That's why after spending the stone we had upgrading the base a bit, we decided to make a big trip to explore the other exits that looked like they had a good chance of spawning some nodes we could farm. All right, base is uh, looking pretty solid. It's looking great. Our end goal for today was to possibly get enough gunpowder to do Bradley. Now that train tunnel exits could spawn in monuments, we could technically take Bradley within that grid. It was a stretch, but hopefully we could farm enough sulfur to do this. All right. Do you want to stop at like the middle stage? You just want to go straight to the sewer branch? Let's just go straight to the sewer branch. I'm done with this Mickey Mouse bullshit. I'm curious about airfield as well. I wonder if there's some uh, nodes on that snowy mountain. You want to stop at airfield? Yeah, I'm done. Oh god. Oh my god, I see node. It's like a caveman when you see the node. I see node. I see no oh there's one right here. No sulfur node? Oh sulfur node over there. I don't think it's in reach. It yeah, is! It is. Oh shit! Is that a man? No, that's a python, dude. Those few nodes was literally all a grid had to offer. We had to make a couple of stops before we had enough to go home. Well, it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of nodes. Okay, okay. There's a bunch of nodes. Perfect. Is that everything? Yeah, I mined a node that was the only one possible left <sighs> okay well 1200 sulfur plus uh 400 at home that's eight rockets easy yeah, just don't miss good. despite the limited amount of real estate we had to work with we finally had enough sulfur to make hv rockets and take down bradley to learn rocket launcher and high velocity rockets we needed more scraps so i could tech tree them so while spoon kid was afk i went for a quick recycle run Oh my god. What? Oh my god. What the fuck? Spoon? Spoon! Why is there a kid with an AK there, dude? Hello? Dude, 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 we need to go outside right now, like ASAP. I died to an AK at Lighthouse. I was recycling, I had 500 scrap, but I killed the guy with an inventory of farm and I had like 1K extra sulfur and everything. Just go to go to Lighthouse, right, I'll right, meet right, you right, there. Killed him. No way. Uh, how? Yeah, there's was here. He was swimming. His body's in there. It's got a little bit left, but I got pretty much everything. Was he just like loaded with farm? Yeah. Any recyclables? No, nah, he didn't get up there. Okay, I'm gonna go, go. I'm gonna go for it then. Good shit, dude. That's actually like insane. That's gonna be so useful at Bradley. AK's got like one durability though. Got the rest of his stuff. What's the AK durability? 
Look, it's pretty rough. I don't even know if it's worth bringing. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, maybe one mag. MP5 though. Did you have an MP5 as well? Yeah. Killing that solo AK guy named Cowboy Requise obviously got us an AK, but also an MP5 and his gear set. It would give us more confidence for our Bradley take, which we headed to right after this encounter. What is like our ideal end game for this goal? Like what is ultimate thing to do? How about rating that two by two for now? Okay. No, but even like, not even as a joke, like I, th I don't think we can do much beyond that. I guess rating bigger bases, but Bradley is just about our only source of explosives beyond like the two nodes that spawn. All right, what do we got to work with here? We have... we have... Well, no, we have the recycler building. Yeah, that's not bad. How do we bait it? Should we shoot it or how does this work? It'll come. Did they remove a pipe that goes from here to that building? Yeah, they I did. I have no idea why. It. Yeah, that's a weird thing to change. It's like now Mammoth only has one entrance. It's just weird. Good shit. So how do you want to play it? Where do you uh, think we should go? Um, we don't have long range guns, so I'm just going to chill Mammoth. Bolty. C4. Let's go. Nice. Last crate here. Yeah, Bolty and attachments. Uh, M2. Rockets. M2? Is a bunch of shit. Nice, dude. Got an 8x keep... and a laser for Yeah, it. I was going to say I have that. Right, we gotta get the fuck out of here. To our surprise, the Bradley take went great. We got an M249, a C4, and a bunch of extra high velocity and incendiary rockets. Even with these things thrown into the mix though, we figured it still wasn't enough to finish raiding our neighbor. So we decided to take the risk and hope that tomorrow he wouldn't log on and upgrade his base. It was getting late, so Spoon Kid logged off for the night. I stayed on for a little bit longer though, to fortify our base and make sure we didn't get offline raided. It looks like our neighbor resealed, but I think it's just wood, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. No, man. Why does that have to happen right now? I can't counter that. It's out of the grid. I just have to listen to it. That's so fucked. Something is getting smacked up there right now. I'm actually going to pair Rust Plus real quick. Might as well. Well, hopefully whatever's going on over there is not the fate of my base tonight. I hope you guys didn't forget the title of this video, because this story has hardly begun. So I just checked Rust Plus, woke up at like 7.30, planning to sleep in a little bit longer, but checked Rust Plus and I saw that I'm dead to Cowboy Requeez, which is that AK guy that Spoon killed at Lighthouse. I guess he somehow followed us home and figured out that we lived there. I know exactly where I logged out and it was like in the airlock before main loot. So two more sheet metal doors and that's where Spoon Kid was sleeping. 
and he's dead too. I checked rest plus and he's no longer on the map, which means that he got killed in his sleep as well. So that means it was a garage door and an armored door to main loot. You probably had enough and he probably took it over. I think it's over, man. I really do. I really do just think it's over. No, man. Oh my God. I'm so lucky this bag is here. But you know what I'm not lucky about? Getting fucking raided. Looks like this place right here got raided too. Wait, what the hell? He went through this. Oh my god, it is decimated, dude. No fucking way, man. No fucking way. I think they maybe four rocketed this right here. And then they went four. So that's eight. And then another three. Wow, that is so lame. This guy doesn't look like he survived the night either. Yeah, fuck this challenge. I'm uh, I'm gonna find where Cowboy lives. This is just like that launch site wipe, dude. Mess with the bull, you get the horns, dude. I, I, I'm not, I'm not taking that lightly, dude. I'm not just gonna roll over for this kid. He was the one who came to Lighthouse and killed me with an inventory of farm, and he's the one that's mad that I retaliated and got my stuff back. Yeah, fuck that, dude. I'm finding where these guys live if it's the last thing I do. And to just like that, the challenge was no more. We were going to try and continue it that next day, but as you can see, someone was a little butt hurt about losing an almost broken AK. As a result, they raided us and we lost every last thing. They even took our boxes. But this was a good thing as much as it was a bad thing. Now I had a resurgence of determination. I was looking forward to find where Cowboy lived to make them regret offline raiding me. So I quickly got up, dusted myself off, and began anew. Yeah, these guys got fucked over too. Holy shit, man. Wow, this really sucks. Well, obviously, I'm just going to take over this base again. It's in great shape. They just broke the foundations. It's no big deal. I can repair easily. Just need to get a TC going. There's no way we're there's no way we we're restarting this challenge. I mean, what's the point? It's either we're just going to continue and get revenge on these kids without the challenge or um, we just log off and call it. We can't continue the challenge because we can't get revenge. We're just going to get raided again. So yeah, I'm going for revenge now. Someone's following me. It's Penske. Hey, it's me. Who's me? Remember you gave me pumpkins yesterday. It's Rasta Banana. You gave me an ABC, the, the rundown of your farm yesterday. You gave us some pumpkins and some fish. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, do you need any more po I'm sorry, dude. You've scared me. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, see what your name was. Yeah. But, but, yeah, dude, here's some more pumpkin. Oh, thank you. Yeah. As you can see, we got, well, maybe you can't see, but we got offline raided yesterday and we lost everything. They took our boxes even. There's there was nothing left. Nothing. Dude, it's it's cowboy, man. Yeah! He's raiding all the bases around here. Penske, tell me where he lives. I, I can tell you where he lives, but dude, he's a pretty tough puppy. 
Dude, he's got the whole village. Have you ever been to the village? Nope. You've never been to the village? Okay, bro. How about this? Go all the way to the junkyard. You see that island where the junkyard's on? That little road Wait. that connects the junkyard to the rest of the place? That's where he lives? That area there? That Yeah, that entire village is his. And he has oh a compound in the God. back where his main base is. Dude, it's going to be hard, bro. He scares me, man. It is my mission to infiltrate him. All right, bro. I'll leave you alone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. No, it's okay, man. You you were valuable intel today. All right. I'm going to go back to uh, working on the farm. If you need anything, just come on over and let me know, all right? Okay. That was some invaluable information. So now I'm starting to connect the dots. Cowboy is raiding everybody in this area. And maybe we just got caught in the crossfire. Maybe it wasn't a revenge raid by them at all to get their AK back. So we got raided. My neighbor got raided. I'm hearing rockets go off still as I wake up. And now I find out that they live in this freaking massive village hotel thing. Like these 21 vending machines are, are hotel rooms, dude. Look at this. I need to go give that a gander. The, the, something needs to go down. We need to somehow get back at these guys. This story is getting interesting. Penske just did hours of work for me. He told me exactly where Cowboy lives. I trusted his word because clearly he's been playing this wipe for a while. If anybody knows about anyone on this server, it was Penske. Every part of me wanted to go check out the quote unquote village that Cowboy lived in, but I didn't want to do it without Spoon Kid. I wanted to experience it together. So instead, I decided to do a lot of grinding while I was solo. That way, when Spoon Kid logged on, we could go straight into our little recon mission. Hey, um, can I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? If you're gonna keep coming around, I can add you to the team. Oh, sure, yeah. So that way you guys don't kill me and I don't kill you? Yeah, sure. I can invite you. Thanks, bro. I'm I'm solo farming right now. Uh, I just wanted to ask if I could use your oil refinery. I know that there's one back there. I'll be honest, I was using it last night. Ah, how do you know that? <laughs> I, I was just looking around your base. I was just looking around and I saw there's an oil refinery. I'm like, oh, sweet. Absolutely, dude. You can use it. This guy seems so role player and newbie. He probably doesn't even know who I am. Like, I'll be honest. If I start talking in my real voice, I'd be surprised if he if he knew. Back over here. How much uh how much uh crude oil do you have? Uh like 40. Yeah, <laughs> what what happened to your voice, dude? Shit. Listen, man, you were gonna find out sooner. <laughs> Why do you have a voice changer on? Do you watch any uh YouTube? Uh, yeah. Well, let's just say I, uh, I make some videos, all right? Oh, okay. That's what's up. I knew he wouldn't know. I knew he wouldn't know. So you and your buddy got raided last night by Cowboy? Yeah, we killed him at, um, Lighthouse, but then woke up to an offline raid from Cowboy. So you're going to try to get back at Cowboy? Yeah, well, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. And if you want, you can help us out. Well, dude, I want to... I would love to help you guys out. I want to work together and do recon missions and let each other <laughs> yeah, know what's going on yeah. out there with him Because I'm... Dude, I mean, dude, Cowboy's a big threat to my farm, man. True. I mean, if, unless he can be an ally with me. But he hasn't talked to me about that. I did give him a free horse, though, by the way. And I have mm. a feeling that's why he hasn't raided my farm. That could be it. Yeah, you, you could be safe, but you could also be, you know, inevitably raided soon. Here. I mean, think about it. He raided every single base in this right. area. It's like, yeah, they didn't raid yours because it maybe looked too expensive right. or because he gave him that horse and he did him a solid, but, you know. Well, dude, I will help you. Yeah, all right. Sweet. All right, I'm going to go depot. I'm glad that I don't have to use that voice changer anymore, though I'm sure it was getting pretty annoying for you guys. However the situation with Cowboy was going to end up, it seemed like Penske was on board. Now that we were on a real voice basis, I decided to add him on Discord so we could talk to each other later without doing it in-game. As nice as it was talking with Penske, 
I had a lot of work to do before Spoon Kid hopped on for the day, so I got right to it. There's a military crate over here. <laughs> and that's why it was worth checking, baby. <laughs> Made it back, man. That was a pretty good run. Oh, you got a horse. Banana, you got a horse. Yeah. Banana, banana can I have this horse? Uh, sure. Yeah, banana. Banana, when you want, if you want it back, I got it over here in my garage for you. I'll put upgrades okay. on it for you. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go for that airdrop. Oh god, what the fuck is that? Oh, they're cheating. They're cheating. Fuck, man. Wow. I thought I actually stood a chance there, but I just got shot through a bush. Really fucking weird, man. What? Did they just forget? Did they just forget there was an airdrop there? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? I'm so confused. They looted my body, and then they didn't loot the airdrop, which had better things than my body did. Tier two, boom. Yo, Penske. Hey, I'm right here. What are you doing? Damn, you scared them. Scared the shit out of me, bro. <laughs> um, can I get the horse? I wanted to go on a farm run, but there's no nodes around here, so I wanted to take the horse to go do that. Yeah, of course. She's all ready. Here, take this. I was gonna feed it, but it seems like you got that covered. There's a can of beans. They eat that? Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, shit! hell is this i don't think there's even a tool cover oh it's upstairs oh the tool cover's right there oh my god it's twig on the back tc axis Farm. Not anything too crazy, but not terrible. What a weird base in the middle of nowhere. All right. That's a huge run, like a, a massive run. Like huge. After that farm run, I spent some time checking the overwhelming amount of shops on the map. I felt like that because there was so much competition, I was bound to find a tier 3 workbench selling for cheap, and I was right. I saw one tier 3 selling for 300 crude oil. A bit of ocean farming could get this amount in a few minutes. What do we need a tier 3 for, you ask? Well, in case we ever did want to do some raiding, a tier 3 would be super useful. But right before I was about to head out to go get that crude oil, Spoon Kid hopped on. Hello? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, before we do anything, I gotta make sure my mic is working. Hey, good stuff, dude. I was sleeping. <laughs> I was sleeping. <laughs> no, that's all right, man. I got him up to speed on everything. The tier three could wait. I wanted to finally check out Cowboy's compound and see just what we were dealing with. You know what? I'm actually gonna depot this really good kit. I'm gonna go with like a grub kit as well. Hey, that's the worst, man. I like never get raided, but it's always things like this where it's like, you're really invested. I don't even think that they knew that we lived here. I think that they were just hitting every base that looked juicy. Yeah, I think so. What the fuck? You got eyes on it? I haven't really gotten a good look at it. It is not what I expected, dude. This is weird. It might be good for us, honestly. 
I'll just wait for you to see. What the hell? Yeah, this is the village he was talking about. And then he said there's like a separate compound where their main base is. Careful for tourists. There might be like a peacekeeper. Because this is like a hotel. This is weird. Well, that's a dangerous peacekeeper. Hello. What is going on here, man? This is crazy. I mean, shit, let's look around. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he's like kid. a little baby. Uh, I don't like the sounds he's making. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, I just heard a bolt. There's no way the compound is here. There's like no big bases. What's going on here? What the? I've never seen anything like yeah. this in my 6,700 hours of Rust, man. This is insane. Yeah, this is pretty dope. At first, I thought that messing with this clan would be a mistake. By the looks of their hotel and village, they seemed extremely coordinated. But these guys offlined us, and on Penske's account, they've been raiding everyone in the area since Wipe Day. So on that note, it was time to rattle the beehive. There's a cute guy out here. He's turning off that turret. What you guys doing? Should I kill him when he turns it off? I got off, I got off! I got PC, yeah. Alright, get this, get this. Grab the weapon. I'm gonna put the window back on. No, I can't because he, he locked it again. I'm taking the turret though. Let's go. We're getting suppressed. Where's that coming from? You know? Oh yeah, he's on the road. Hit him. Do you have meds? I'm getting suppressed from nowhere, dude. Where dude, is I don't that? even know where that is. There's a bolty on the on me in the pipe, huh? Jump, jump, jump. Do you have stone? Anything? No, I have wood here. I'm dead, dude. I don't know where that is. That's insane. I'm getting shot from so far away. I'm dead. 150 meters M249. Immediately after killing what seemed like one of the main operators of this village, wearing a full role player construction worker gear set, we set off alarms and pretty much instantly got pinned down and killed. What I'd like to note is that the guy we killed here, the best music, was the same guy who was pelting us with the suppressed M249. The only place he could have been landing those shots was this entry tower. That means that they have ready to go gear and even an M249 stashed up there for emergencies such as that one. This was just a small piece of information we gathered on our first run in there and we sure as hell weren't done yet. We were going to learn as much as we could about this clan before we made any big moves. Hello. Jesus Christ. These are the most Pepega people I've ever met. Oh, I found where the M2 is. Where is he? It is that initial building when you walk in on the right. I see him poking through. We tried going back a few times, but after our initial assault, the whole village was fired up. We couldn't go anywhere without raising suspicion, so we decided to let things cool down a bit and focus our attention elsewhere. If we were going to even attempt to mess with this clan in any way, we needed some better equipment. And the first step to that was buying that tier three workbench. Well, there's a lot here, yeah. Oh my God. Look at that China wall over there, dude. Oh, jeez. Penske. What's up, bro? Uh, we're gonna give you this boat to to take good care of, all right? Still got some to spare too. Hey man, I need the horse again. Hey, are you gonna like, are you guys gonna like raid me or something when I'm offline? Is that what you're planning right now? No, dude? no, why would we do that? Because you're like, 
You look like a badass player, dude. Are you are you just using me to get around? No, hell no, hell no. I don't Listen, know, dude. Bro, I'm, I have I'm, bigger I'm, fish to fry. Dude, you understand? I'm just a lonely, paranoid farmer. I got bigger fish to fry. You're you're just you're like a really nice ally. You're definitely the nicest person I met in this game, so I have no reason to raid you at all. Dude, I just wanna help you I just really wanna help you out in any way that I can and I just I just wanna do that. Okay? See, that's why I'm not gonna raid you because that's all I wanna do. I I need to keep you safe. You're you're too precious to raid, man. <laughs> All right, right on, dude. Right on. We're gonna get those guys over there in that in that hey, hotel area. We're gonna get them. Yeah, yeah. I headed to Outpost to buy that tier three, and while I was there, I also bought a couple of extra SARS. All right, I got the loot. We had the workbench, we had some sulfur from that farm run I made earlier, now we just needed some backup gear and possibly even some explosives. So we crafted up some high velocity rockets to go and take Bradley again. But long story short, the 45 minute journey wasn't even worth it. Some big group took it right before us. We only managed to get out with one M39. But I'm mentioning this because this M39 would prove to be useful soon in this video. It was after I returned from that exhausting run from launch site that I took a short break to grab some food. During which, Spoonkid stayed on and was in the process of looting the cargo ship. The loot he got from this made up for the time wasted at launch site tenfold. How am I gonna get over there? Let me know if it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, I'm leaving in like 12 minutes. Yeah. So I don't even know. That's how long it's gonna you. take me to get there. <laughs> First crate opened. No way. Come on, give me good luck. Oh, C4 AK. Oh, that's insane. All right, second crate in five seconds. Ulti. It's bad. All right. Win some, you lose some. All right, last crate is open. What is it? Oh, another C4. No yeah, way. That's actually crazy. Not only did Spoon Kid get all of the guns we'd need to try and take down Cowboy, but he also found two C4 and a bunch of components. The two C4 would be a game changer, and mixing together all the scrap I got from recycling just now, and the scrap we'd get from all the components from cargo, we'd have enough to tech tree all the way down to rockets. God damn. God damn. So that's what we did. Right after that, we felt it was about time to go check out the compound again. Things have cooled off enough, and we really wanted to see if we could possibly buy a room in the hotel, just to get an idea of the layout. All right, so what I was thinking, like we go through the door on the back here and then we're just like straight into core, right? But the problem I have with that is, is that the whole fucking village can see into this stupid oh. door. Wait, 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 but this wasn't where the M2 guy was. He was in this one. Oh, that one? Okay, I yeah. see. And the door is back here. Okay. Which does help us. This helps us, yeah. It creates like a bottleneck. Hey, uh, do you know how to buy a room? Uh, what the fuck? Oh, what? It just gives you a code for a room, dude. Wait, the code for this is 8558 for the first floor. The shop front, 8558. I'm room 5. Trespass equals KOS. How would they even know? Holy shit! This is insane. It doesn't end. This is so crazy. Dude, it's all one door to loot. Look at this shit. Look right, look through that window. Oh my god. It looks so like, juiced. Dude, we could throw a C4 on this. It takes so much shit. It looks so juiced. How would we how would we get away with it though? What is this? This is so cool. This is like the coolest thing I've seen in Rust, and I want to raid it. Yeah. Excuse me, where do I buy more rooms? I only saw one place to buy rooms in here. What's up? Where else do you buy rooms other than right here? So what? This is the only place that you buy rooms, so I don't uh, I don't think there's any left to be honest. Let me go check. Uh, wait, can you help me? I got this note, but it doesn't have my room number on it. Look. <laughs> I'm just trying to...
Suck. What the fuck, dude? Oh no, I'm running! What a dickhead! I'm running, he's, he's gonna kill everybody! Fuck dude, it, there's run. no turrets in there. We could uh, camp in there with DBs and nice. murder people. And then wait the minute for a peacekeeper and just dip. And how are we gonna dip, Spoon? <laughs> Tell well, me. We just wait there. one minute and then just run out. It's worth a try, dude. I'm bringing two DBs. <laughs> I'm pissed. I bought a fucking room. <laughs> this motherfucker killed me. This may have seemed like another waste of time, but actually we learned a lot here. We got the guest codes to enter the hotel corridors, and through the little windows of these sheet metal doors, we saw tons of boxes. It looked juicy as hell, so we went back with shotguns and enough explosive ammo for one of the doors to see what was inside. This wouldn't be the main mission, but it was a test to see how quick they can respond to a crisis like this and how loaded one of these rooms could be we are under attack near yeah, near yeah, deploy deploy close clear someone's in here with garage doors okay doors work get in here okay that one's closed this one's open doesn't look like there's much in there though this one's open room 37 i see a sleeper in there he's in this room right now Best music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in just the- Just go for it, dude. No, just no, go no. for it. No, no, no. But he can just close the garage door, though. Okay, let's just door camp him. Yeah, just yeah. Hide from we'll him. <laughs> I see him right there. <laughs> He's placing boxes. Nice. Dude, this guy's loaded with comps. Oh my god! We need loot and go. We, we need, need loot and go. Dip. Killed him? You just killed me! That was you! I put on the kit, dude! <laughs> you put on the fit, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, no. I am so sorry. You gotta come back, dude. I'm coming. You gotta run back. There's that a, is my a hazzy, bad. There's two hazzies running in. Oh, there's God. So they're, dude, in. They're, everybody's out front, dude. Oh, I'm dead to the I'm dead to the bolty peacekeeper. I thought it would have been a minute by now. <laughs> Dude, I hear a hundred people outside. They went into lockdown mode. They got sirens. I'm dead. I can't believe how fast you killed me. Like instant fucking headshot <laughs> dead. I had a feeling it wouldn't end well, but that was worse than I thought. Even if Spoon didn't murder me, we had barely any time to plan our next move. The boys ran over to lock it down instantly. If this was the way they reacted to our main mission on one of their towers, we would be screwed. Plus, it seemed like way more members were online now. So I headed over with a suppressed M39 to do some more recon and mess with them a little bit more. You know what? I'm gonna go suppressed M39 and go up on the mountain. I killed one, another one's like 20 health, dude. Oh my god. Just want to kill that guy in his stupid hat. <laughs> Need to get that stupid hat. Ouchie. Like, how do these people, how are these people so coordinated? It doesn't make any sense. I'm already getting pushed. I've been up here for five fucking seconds. I killed the guy with the hat! No way. I got his gear. Yes! Oh, there's a hazmat at Junkyard. Oh, there's two of them, and they're like at the top of the little ramp. I see them. I have an extra M9 if you want to come to me. I don't know if you have a weapon. No, I've got a revolver DB. I'm okay. There's so many! So many! Killed one? Headshot LR. Hit him, headshot him. There's like three more, dude. Good luck. I'm dead. This guy has the eyesight of a fucking eagle. Hit one five times, full AK kid. He's not dead, dude. There's so many. There's so many, man. 
I'm, I'm out of here. I don't have a whole lot of ammo left. You know what? I'm tossing this hat. He's never getting it back. Yeah, <laughs> disposing of the hat. Yeah, fuck that dude. He's not getting his hat back. Killed AK. And it's like really far from the whole team. If if music doesn't get on this roof and M2 me from fucking eight light years away, then I'm gonna I'll be fine. By the way, you know that huge circular insane base with the China yes. walls? That's where they live. Best music just came from that direction. No. Yep. Well, we can't raid that. I'm gonna go for a swim and get ESP'd. Okay, sounds good. I hear the LR guy. Oh my god, I see it! <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't go for the bridge. There's like a bridge that connects to the shore. And I was about to take it, but I decided not to because if they find me there, I'm just as good as dead. Stealing a couple of kits from Music and his group was great and all, but we pushed our luck way too far. That little stunt pissed them off enough to try and hunt us down. There's a mini copter. They're looking for me. They're like right above me. Headshot hit one twice, man. We're gonna get raided, dude. I can almost guarantee you that shit. The fuck? That is definitely one of them, dude. At this point, it was pretty obvious they knew we lived here. It was only a matter of time before these guys came over and raided us. Now that it was our choice, we wanted to go out our own way. So we were going to hit them first. Our plan still stands. We were going to raid the sheet metal door at the back of the right entry tower and hope there was some extra gear sets in there like we proposed. Obviously, we couldn't raid their main base. <laughs> Probably no group on the server could. We were hoping that there would be enough loot in here to just piss them off. Our own little slice of revenge. But we couldn't do this alone. Not with the manpower this clan had. So as promised, I called in Penske. What's up? Yo. Hey, oh, I, we're getting ready to raid uh, one of the village guys. Yeah. Okay. We know exactly what we're along. gonna do. Okay. You guys want to like run me down with, so I have some idea on what you guys are gonna be doing in there. Yeah. So first off, we need some provisions because we're like, I I have no hunger. This guy outside of our base really wants us to kill him so that he knows that we live here. I'm pretty sure it's one of them. Bro, Penske, you need to come over here and murder this naked. I'm I'm so done with this kid. I will. I'll be over there. Oh wait, is yeah, that the wrong that guy? guy? Kill that guy, kill that guy, kill that please. Guy? The best music, guys. It was the best oh, music. No, oh no, oh no. Oh, That's who no. we're raiding, dude. Oh no, oh no, there's an LR. Oh, we're, we're dead. No, we're, we're getting raided. Dude. We're getting raided. <laughs> <laughs> nah, on my watch, you're not. He's behind the hill. Like behind that little wood base. He just walked behind it. I see it. I think we gotta go for this raid right now. Yeah, dude, it's... Before it's too late. Yeah, it's not looking good, man. Can you make an extra launcher for me? Yeah, here it is. They sent out a scout. It was now or never. We grabbed everything we needed and headed out. It was time to face the music. Let's, let's go along the shore, boys. Okay, I don't see anyone on the roof. Let's get up against the wall and then crouch around. What are you doing, man? Are you serious? Quiet. I need seeds. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, go. Okay, we can run up. Okay, stay away from the wall. Stay away from the wall. Get in. I think TC is like literally right there. Yeah, TC's right here already. Already got TC. Alright. Fast, 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 break it. 
Place a door to take this gold lock. I placed the wall. Building block. It overlapped. Coming. They're coming. I hear people coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry Hold about it. Hold them off. Let's go up top. Go up top? I put a door on, on the front. Okay. Are we safe in here? I don't know. Look for an M2. We were able to put a door down? They're raiding Whoa, what the? What? They're raiding this? The they're ra shooting. I'm getting hit. Yeah, there's someone in the other tower. Spoon, I need you up here. Okay, I'm coming up. Oh shit, I'm getting hit. Yeah, there's one in the room right across. Careful. Rocket them if they can. Catch on LR. Is she rocketing them? There's another one. I'm dead. One there, one there, one there, one there. Come I mean, on, we're gonna die up here, aren't we? Yes, we are. They got AKs and all kinds of crazy shit, bro. I'm hit. I'm bleeding. Well, I'm gonna. I'm, gonna, oh, I'm, I'm dead. Gonna Fuck. Peace out. It's over for me, boys. That was crazy. Killed him. Oh my god! So much! So much loot! What do they all have? There's so much shit, dude. Why would they shoot rockets at their own t Dude, they- I don't know, they were just ready, dude. You're still I'm over dead, there? I'm dead, dude. I'm on my way back with MP5. I, I used all the rockets, but dude, it was so loaded at the top, bro. For real. Two sheet metal doors for all that, by the way. Damn, dude. They came with rockets in literally like 20 they, seconds. I honestly think they might have been rockets. They might have been coming to our base with the rockets. Yeah, you're right. I think you're right. And then they just... Yeah. That means that they're coming here right after. We're literally fucked. All I have to say to that is wow. I have never seen a base get resecured so fast in my life. They made the decision to spend four rockets on their own tower within 60 seconds of securing the raid. Despite discovering some loot was actually there like we thought, failure was unavoidable. Anticipating our base to be raided any minute now, we were ready to go out swinging. But then, there was a silver lining. Did you refill it recently because- Oh wait, there's, there's still 2C4 over here, Spoon! Oh shit. We can still- <laughs> We can still get back in. I know exactly where to blow too. The 2C4 Spoon Kid got from Cargo. To our luck, we completely forgot it was up here and didn't even remember to bring it to the raid. This was perfect. It meant that this mission wasn't entirely in vain. I knew where their loot was now, and assuming this clan would be as ignorant as usual, it would probably remain up there. This was our last chance to leave our mark on this clan. We wanted them to remember us as not another group that they defeated, but as a group that got back at them and got away with it. But we couldn't do this now. By now they were patching up their base and heading over to finish us off. We had to make a run for it and hide the C4 somewhere safe before they came to raid us. I mean, you like know what, you know what? Them, Actually, I'm gonna go to a, like, a, I'm gonna go build a random two by one, put the two C4 and the wood. Yeah, you should probably just move everything because I guarantee they're about to raid us. I wanna just move the C4 and like extra kits. I can't believe that we like spent so much time getting rockets and their base was literally two doors. Like from our first rocket, I literally think it was maybe 30 seconds and they were rocketing the side of the base. I'm gonna slap it down somewhere around here. Wait, we're dead. Our base is getting raided right now. I'm gonna slap it down as soon as I can. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh my god, dude, they're they're on our roof right now. All right, just put it down. I'm gonna depot and then respawn there. Oh fuck, I need to make a box. Okay, I'm just gonna kill myself. Yeah, just okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so fucked. Oh baby. How do we not have one cloth in this fucking base, dude? <laughs> We're out of cloth. <laughs> I'm coming over. I'm respawning, baby. Oh, shit! Dude, 
dude, we got out of there like just in time. Yeah. They're rocketing into. They're wasting so much, dude. Dude, they literally like we can't defend. They're going right through the side. Oh baby! I'm fucking dead. I'm so dead. It's not even funny how dead I am. I gotta count oh how many rockets. Oh my god! Dude. This is the biggest waste of rockets I've ever seen in my life. This is going down as like the biggest waste of rockets in history, baby. Let's go. I'm dead. That's a win in my book, dude. The plan was simple. Hop off for a few hours and wait for things to die down a bit. Make them think that they were safe, that they eliminated the threat. Our reasoning to raid this clan was simple. They offlined us and every other base in the area. This server is a monthly server if you haven't guessed already, and we're 20 days in. With the base of their size, it was safe to say they've been here for all those 20 days, which probably means they've been playing this way since the start. This isn't just a clan, they're oppressors. You've seen it, they're decent at the game, and yet they roll super deep. Why? It's the safety in numbers and the assurance that they can do whatever they want without any repercussions. Their motives were simple, and yet, they still surprised me. Dude, this was Penske's trap base, man. It's like raided. I think it's by the guys, man. I, I'm kind of sad. I, I'm going to check Penske's base. I want to make sure that he didn't get raided, because if he did, that, that, that'd be really, really sad. Oh no, there's a breach. Oh fuck, no, no. Oh, hello distant travelers. Glad you guys could come all this way to join us today. No fucking way, bro. They actually raided him. That's so fucked. Wow, I'm a I'm actually upset. I'm actually mad. I'm actually so fucking mad. This team is a bunch of fucking bullies. I hate this. I hate these people. This is fucked, man. This guy worked so hard for all this. He worked so hard. And they're still in the area just shooting. Who knows why, dude? Bro, you guys you guys raided this guy? It's like Wait, yeah. morally fucked up. How is it left? Cuz, man, this guy was so nice. No, I know, I know. Like, I'm actually disappointed. How long have you been? Have you guys been playing this server? <laughs> uh, well, since basically the start. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mic just uh, had a malfunction. I hope you guys are proud of raiding Lighthouse Farms, man. This guy was so friendly. He was so pure. So pure. You thinking about restarting? No. <laughs> <laughs> Restart? This run wasn't even over yet. We were still plotting our last revenge right under their noses. And after realizing how they did my boy Penske, it ignited a whole new fit of rage. It wasn't even for us anymore. This was for Penske. So once it blows, we're just going to loot and run as fast as we can, right? Pretty much, dude, yeah. So no fighting if we don't have to. Yeah, we got to get out fast. Like, their response time that first time was literally 10 seconds. Yeah. The fact that they're this rich rating 2 by 2s like, they ruined our tunnel wipe for what? They didn't even need any of that shit. Okay, it's literally right here. All right, go for it. All right, shoot up. I got launcher, AK. I'm leaving. I 
got so much, dude. Yeah, dude, me too. Oh my god, there's already three of them on the base. No way. Dude, they swarmed it. Look at look back. I see it, dude. Holy shit, they're so fast. We did it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Last laugh. I got a thousand scrap. Wait, you have a thousand scrap? Yeah. What do you say we buy a boat and we go find someone on the other side of the map, nowhere near these fuckers, and we give all this loot to them? Some naked? Yeah, let's do it. How much fuel does it give you just out of curiosity? Uh, oh, only 50. I thought I gave you more. Look! <laughs> Later! Later! <laughs> <They're pissed, laughs> dude! <laughs> yes! It wasn't much, but we knew it got under their skin, and they just had to take it. This was a job well done.